Today, the church honors the memory of two saints, a bishop and a layman, both victims of King Henry VIII of England. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the two saints we honor today are Bishop John Fisher and the famous Thomas More, lawyer, husband, father, and Lord Chancellor of England. King Henry executed them because they refused to acknowledge him as supreme head of the church in England, a title he gave himself after he broke with the church over his divorce and remarriage. Both saints are examples to us of the necessity of having a well-formed conscience and being willing to die for the truth. St. Thomas More is the patron saint of lawyers, and Pope John Paul named him the patron saint of politicians and public servants as well. Why? Well, here's what the Pope said. There are many reasons for proclaiming Thomas More patron of statesmen and people in public life. Among these is the need felt by the world of politics for credible role models. Today, various forces underline the need to defend human life at all its different states and urgently demand clear political decisions in favor of the family, young people, the elderly, and the marginalized. In this context, it is helpful to turn to the example of St. Thomas More. Unwavering in his moral stance, this English statesman places his own public activity at the service of the person, especially if that person was weak or poor. He was vigorously committed to favoring and defending the family. What enlightened his conscience was the sense that humanity cannot be separated from God, nor politics from morality.